I'm Juliana, your automotive woman, and this week I'm at Zeal Motors to test drive the fat truck, Canada's only amphibious vehicle built right here. We're talking land, water, and rocks, and I'm going to experience all of it. Amit, how are you? Great to see you. I'm good. How about you, Juliana? Oh, I'm great. Are, are you sure you're ready to hand me the joystick of your 6,000 pound behemoth of a truck? I am ready. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I'm not going to lie. A little bit nervous, but I'm confident. I'm confident. So whenever I'm doing a car review, the you know, first thing I jump right into is engine spec. Mm -hmm. It's Caterpillar C 2.2 turbo diesel, uh, four cylinder, uh, horsepower and torque. 67 horsepower, 165 uh, feet pound of torque. Okay, top speed? 40 kilometers an hour, 25 miles an hour. Wow, and, and what about water? Well, actually the vehicle floats and it can go two miles an hour on the water. Okay, and it, speed, you have how many, uh, how many speeds? You have uh, high gear and low gear and each gear brings uh, 10 separate gears. How long can you actually drive it for? With 18 hours okay, without refueling. So it's oh, an 18 wow. gallon fuel tank, but the fuel consumption is really low. It's like 1.5 gallon per hour only. So uh, today, one of the most important features is going to be these fat tires, which are trademark, correct? Exactly. They're designed for fat truck. What's so special about your tires? One of the things that is really special is the low pressure that is in the tire. So we vary the pressure from 1 PSI to 4 PSI upon the four modes that we have okay. of driving. And because it's really, really low pressure, the tire molds around the object. And this is what is giving it the special capacity of load. Okay, and you just mentioned modes. So four modes? Correct. That's water, right? Mud? Mud. Trail, trail and snow. Exactly. Depending where we're going, you set up the mode and it will set up the a perfect pressure for that particular terrain okay so so you have optimum traction all the time okay so this really is your ultimate off-road industrial vehicle there's nothing else that can go more off-road than a fat truck okay so again guys i'm going to experience today the water full harsh terrain and boulders and before we get into it super important is tell me what's going up on here your infotainment screen exactly you have a screen that tells you uh the basics so temperature of the engine okay. temperature of the transmission okay. the speed that you're going the gears that you are in and also uh, all the alarms that can go on uh, like a car okay and am i able to change my my drive modes yes um on the fly on the fly okay so your tires actually form and the more pressure less pressure exactly on you arrive you're going in the water you just press water mode the tire will uh, increase in pressure and the features of the joystick how the joystick reacts will change as well joystick pretty important the only time i've ever done a joystick uh, machine was the pre -noth. so similar to this one or maybe not similar mm -hmm. do I have to make sure I'm always in a forward motion before cranking it left or right yes okay you need it's a skid steer effect so uh, the way that the vehicle turn because the front wheel don't turn they're fixed yeah. you're variating the, the rotation of the wheels from one side to the other so when you're going forward both wheels are turning the same speed mm -hmm. and when you're turning one side is going faster than the other one that's what is allow you to turn to steer basically okay so there's there's two buttons up top what are they to increase or decrease your speed so you're changing gears basically virtual gears so okay. it's electronically controlled okay and uh the trigger good for the trigger is an activation for the joystick so it's a safety aspect mm -hmm. so you want to disengage the brakes you push the trigger it will disengage everything then you're able to move otherwise nothing happens with the joystick okay so first stop is the flooded river test. Yeah, exactly. Are you exactly right? what the lineman does is <laughs> cross a flooded area. Okay, so my heart's already pumping. Let's get you in here. Let's turn on the fat truck and let's see what it can do. Let's go. Okay, Mean, are you are you ready for this? I am ready. Okay, so to start, it's pushed down. Yes, for safety. Okay, it's diesel, so you have to give it a second. Exactly. Right? Now full turn. Full turn. Woo! Okay, so 
I'm about to go in the water, so I want to put it into water mode. Exactly. Okay. So now you're going to hear a noise. Okay, I'm in low gear. Low gear. Right? And gear eight. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So I will lower down the gear a little bit. So when you're ready to drive, turn this water turn. Okay. Then push on this. Okay. Just I once. push on the trigger once. Once. Okay. Disengage. Again. Because you can fast enough that so. Okay, and I'm able to Floating of the fat rug is done with two things. The frame, like the chassis, is done like a boat. It's watertight, number one. And number two, the water displacement that it creates makes the vehicle to float. In addition to that, we have four wheels, those giant wheels. Uh, they are five feet high, and those wheels create a water displacement of 2,000 pounds each. So you have an additional 8,000 pounds of water displacement there that helps you to float. So virtually, you cannot sink because you have the chassis and the wheels helping you to float. environments in the world so right now I'm about to go through the all-terrain test exactly the purpose of the fat truck was designed to go to a jump site so this is the kind of obstacle that you have a road. okay so I'm about to go through um, hill incline descent mud trees Correct. Are you ready? Nice. <laughs> nice, great, awesome, thanks, thank you, that's amazing. Okay, I'm in my low gear, hey, we have the tire set to mud. Exactly, to get more traction. Okay. Again, it's icy, so I'm approaching slow. When approaching slow, you let the vehicle go down, and you can find back from the right.
So the fat truck has been designed for our customers that you go travel on power lines, pipelines, and search and rescue. It can handle steep hills, it can handle mud, it can handle snow, and you can go to inclines up to 70, 75%. This is done only with the flip of a switch. You can deflate or inflate the tires within the four modes upon what you're facing. You want to go in snow up to two feet, you just put in snow mode, your tire will deflate to one PSI, will give you more traction, and you'll be able to climb that hill with two feet of snow. You want to go faster, you put it in trail mode, the tire will inflate to the maximum pressure, and you'll be able to go fast. You arrive in mud, push the mud switch, and that will deflate the tires perfectly to the right setting so you can cross mud. It has been designed to carry all the people with a load and go everywhere. Okay, did you just say this is for experts only? Experts only, but you are, you're a professional. Professional with cars. That's a truck. <laughs> okay, so this is... <laughs> This is 70% grade right now, I'm looking at? It's 32 degrees actually, a little bit more than 70%. And uh -huh. uh, there's not a lot of equipment. Just to do a comparison, when you're on a highway and you see 15% hill with your car, it's steep, right? Yes. This is 70. Oh my, uh, my heart's pounding, my heart's pounding. Okay, so right now I'm a little bit off-centered. Is it important that I uh, reverse and get straightened up because there is ice present? Uh, you need to be facing down square. Okay. So, but you, you don't need to reverse. You can just go a little bit further and just turn. <laughs> Do you mind if I reverse and get ready? No. <gasps> okay. You're a big girl. You can handle this. Oh. Stop, the brakes are down. And you say, oh, I want to go backwards, pushing the trigger. I can go backwards right now? You can go backwards right now. Slowly back up. obstacle was going to be intense yep. and I'm looking at these boulders moguls in front of us yeah, they're about six feet high and I'm dealing with ice today snow mud in the event that a crew encounters this which I'm confident they will what is the safety procedure? Well, first of all, you're wearing your safety belt. That's really good. Secondly, there's an escape hatch right there in case of rollover. Okay. It's an emergency escape. You just pull the lever and you can get out. And in the middle, there's a hammer that you can break any window except the windshield. Because the windshield is designed to protect you like a car. It's a okay. laminated windshield with a sheet of plastic in between two glass. But all the other ones, you can break them and get out from them. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, if we roll over, we're falling in the river. Oh, great, and we float. No problem, no problem. Okay, I'm in low gear, mud to provide really great traction. Okay, parking off. Okay. So most of the time, my own we have one or two wheels in the air. Like, like, 
จะบริสAmazing is the best word for everything I experienced today. This is by far the the harshest terrain I've ever been through, from land, from the water, and those moguls and boulders. It's incredible to think that I maneuvered everything with a joystick, one hand, and I'm just a civilian, so I can imagine professional crews out there using the fat truck through mining, through uh, wind farms, pipelines to fix these things, but most importantly, to also use the fat truck for search and rescue this this guys is amazing if I had to customize the fat truck my way 100% I would go with all of their safety features to make sure that well I'm safe as the navigator but especially for my crew I'd also get a radio communication between the front passengers and obviously my crew so we can hear each other a lot more clearly and 100% I think what's really important is having those camera angles so you can see everything going on around you. If you want any more information about the fat truck, I'll provide the links down below. But for now, huge thank you to Amin, Benoit, and Maxime. This has been an incredible experience. Stay safe out there to the crews. Guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss How To Tuesday, Feature Car Friday, and special videos like today. Thanks, guys.